Hey guys, I'm Satorial Phil. Welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a review of the Louis Vuitton Men's Spring Summer 2021 collection. So this was kind of delayed due to the pandemic. And this show took place in Shanghai. And this video is kind of split up into two parts. I'm not going to review every single look, but I will show them all to you. There are 59 in total and I have selected 21 to go in more detail and I'll probably post more details on Instagram as Louis Vuitton comes out with more information and hopefully they'll have more information on the leather goods as well. This first selected look, it's actually the third look. It's an interesting style. It's an inflatable jacket. It reminds me of Monogram Glaze back from Kim Jones's last collection. And there were actually some bags in this inflatable material, but I didn't see them on the runway, but they were teased on Louis Vuitton's Instagram feed. He's also carrying what looks like a probably a Nano Speedy with the signature orange of Virgil Abloh's designs. This has a bag that looks like the soft trunk wallet. Although it looks a little bigger, I think this one's in white Torreon leather with the LV monogram. And this one looks like it has two of the Zoom friends on it. And the rest of the silhouette is basically just tailoring. This is the first look that we see the scorpion motif. It's like another plush animal. I'm sure it's made out of leather. For his off-white brand, he does have the scorpion motifs on some of his ready-to-wear. So I think that's where it comes from. The sunglasses also kind of remind me of Balenciaga. And then you'll see that the pants are extremely long and it looks like it's dragging on the floor as well. And then here we see a stuffed animal used as a handbag. And at the neck of the panda, there's like a neon green LV. And I think the eyes are the monogram flowers as well. This sort of reminds me of Loive though. And then the sunglasses, are it's kind of cool. I think one of the characters had it and it makes it look like you have a permanently kind of furrowed eyebrow. This also features a very prominent Zoom friends hugging the shoulder. Besides that, the look is pretty standard. I think there's a tag on the pants and then I think this is the speaker trunk from the past collection, the fall winter 2020. This is the first look where we see this checkered pattern. It's been modified and it almost has like a distorted optical illusion effect. I think it's a bit too much for the entire look, but I think it's probably the more interesting design motif from this collection. It's a play off of the Damier pattern. And then the bag he's carrying, it looks like the, like the GM, the large size of one of their reporter bags or the nil bag. I thought the texture of this jacket is pretty cool. Probably hard to pull off. And you've seen the animals attached to the clothing a few times already and you'll see it later on. I'm assuming they're probably detachable. They remind me of Virgil's first fall winter collection in 2019 where he had those removable badges on some of the clothes. This is another play on that checkered pattern, a distorted effect where you see on the model's left side, the squares are larger. And then this looks like he's carrying a keep all 45. And it looks like it's just in plain black leather, but the accents are in that checkered pattern. And there is a better photo of this one that Louis Vuitton released. And I do like the accents rather than the entire bag being the checkered pattern. This bag really reminds me of Kim's outdoor collection, but the color here is, it looks like more of an orange rather than the red and blue that was used in the original collection with the colorful hardware. This one, I thought the sunglasses are cool. I'm not sure how much your view is affected by those monogram flowers. And this was worn by one of the Zoom friends pretty prominently. This one is another one of those full checkered looks and you see a different version of that sunglasses with the raised side kind of looking like an eyebrow. And here we see the full checkered key ball. It's another piece that Louis Vuitton 
released or they released the image of right before the show. I thought this fabric was pretty interesting. Again, I think I've seen a version of this and the baggies holding, it's kind of hard to tell. It looks like a pouch, like a, almost a briefcase style pouch. This is in that same fabric, but this is a modified blazer silhouette. I'm not sure how I feel about it, but it's interesting that he's kind of trying something different with the lapels lowered significantly. And here we see the mirror trunk. I think this is also a speaker, and this was from the previous collection, the fall winter 2020 collection. This is an interesting fabric. I have seen something very similar to this before in kind of upholstery, but this one has the Louis Vuitton monogram. This is a variation of the fabric we just saw, but in a smaller pattern and different colors. I think it works a bit better as a smaller pattern, but it's quite overwhelming for an entire look. And here we see like a micro speedy bag. I like that this one uses the checkered pattern as an accent. It may be a little bit too small for me as an everyday bag, but I would be interested in seeing this one, especially if it does have a crossbody bag, since it looks like it has two D-rings on each of the sides. This one looks like a medium version of the Speedy. We saw the larger one earlier that was more like a 45. This one's probably more of a 25. And again, I like that the checkered pattern is used on it as an accent rather than taking over the entire bag. This is the first and I think only look that features this tricolor, which is paying homage to Virgil's birthplace in Ghana. And the trunk he's carrying also looks to be one of the speaker trunks. This is the bag that was also released on Louis Vuitton's feed before the show went live. It was kind of a woven bamboo or wood pattern and it had the damier in almost like a chain fence. It's an interesting design. I'm not sure I really like the colors. In the more detailed picture, you can see that it also has that chain motif that's a signature of Virgil's. I think this fabric's really interesting and actually really like in this color pattern as well with, as the sheen. This has that modified blazer silhouette as well where the lapels are much further down. The bag he's holding, it looks like a super mini steamer in a way. And it reminds me a lot of his handbag that he makes for Off-White called the Jitney. And even that one has a version with the black and white checkered. So this bag and this fabric we've seen before. The glasses for this one, they're quite eccentric. This bag we've seen before, although it might be different characters because this one has three. And when we first seen this sort of wallet trunk, it only had two character, two of the Zoom friends on it. This look features kind of like a wraparound skirt, which he had done for the Fall Winter 2019 collection. This isn't the exact same silhouette with the pleating, but definitely reminds me a lot of that. This combination of fabric in the skirt reminds me a lot of the African wax prints. They're very colorful pattern fabrics that was and still is widely used in African culture. This is the last look I featured. It's the full look of that material with the bright fluorescent orange damier pattern. You can see it has been extended to the soft trunk. There was at least one other soft trunk as well. It was like the monogram Macassar, but embellished with some of the Zoom friends. So that concludes the more detailed review of the runway show. And after this, you're gonna see the rest of the looks that I didn't select, but you'll be able to see it full screen. And then there's gonna be a short clip of the final walkthrough, at least part of it. So thanks for watching if you made it this far, and I hope to see you in my next video.